What's up guys, this is Justin Gaethje, and you're watching Celebrity Sweat. We are back here with Justin Gaethje. He is about to take us through some of his warm-up exercises. We brought in four active Marines to see if they can keep up with you, man. What do you think about that? Uh, I think they've done plenty, plenty to be able to keep up. I don't know. I don't know if I can keep up on their work. Oh, all right, all right. Well, but, I guess uh, we we'll got something see. a little different for them today. We're showing some late kicks, Good. a couple uppercuts. Let's see what they got. See if they can hang. Let's get it going. I train six days a week. When I get a date on the schedule for a fight, I pick 12 weeks out. Create a uh, schedule for you know every week. Monday for 12 weeks is the same. Tuesday for 12 weeks is the same. It's about two hours a day, two to two and a half hours a day. You know, my, my sports, five five minute rounds is what I'm training for. So I'm training for a sprint, different from other sports. Uh, so it's two, two and a half hours a day and then it's a lot of rest, nutrition, rest and be ready for the next day. I've actually made some huge changes when it comes to my diet. I brought a nutritionist in uh, right before the Chandler fight, about eight weeks before the Chandler fight. And honestly, um, I always thought I was eating healthy, but it turns out I never was. I was eating way too much sugar. I wasn't eating enough vegetables. And so ultimately she's increased my vegetable intake by, you know, extra, a lot, by a lot. And uh, taking my sugar away, if she's gonna sweeten something, it's gonna be with natural sugars like monk fruit sweetener, coconut sugar, maple syrup, honey we call it an anti-inflammation diet a lot less dairy a lot less sugar a lot more vegetables a lot more vegetables the timing of when you eat you need to eat and you need to eat at the right times during the day not too late not too early uh, not too long after workouts two on this bag two on this bag you're just carrying the weight of the bag okay so i'm going out and just keeping the bag out don't worry about like having to have good technique just keep the bag out Feel the weight of the bag like you're stopping in a yeah. moment. Okay? Right there, keep it. Oh, 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 oh. You know, four weeks out from a, from a fight, I'm trying my hardest to keep my weight on. And uh, I don't cut weight till the last two days of before the weigh-ins. And a lot of guys, you know, having to start cutting weight six weeks out, five weeks out. And I've really not done that. And uh, yeah, it's been so great for me. I mean, I've cut weight my whole life wrestling. And I've learned the lessons that one needs to learn. Um, I'll pick combos throughout these rounds. So we're never stopping our punches. Okay, if I pick right hook left hook, you just do as hard as you can. Okay? And I'll say combo maybe five, six times. And I'll say combo, drop down and hit hard. And then right back to this country. Okay? Right cross is straight, left hook is here, left hook to the body, right hook to the body. Those will be our punches. Hey, hey, hey. Hey. Nice and smooth, know your pace. Think about when you guys take a run. You push too hard in the beginning. You have to take a stop. We don't want to stop. Okay, our first combo. Right hook to the head, left hook to the head. Do it when I say combo. In this one, we try to hit as hard as we can. Combo! Good work, guys. You're right back to catching it. So uh, it's, it's all cardio. My my life is cardio. Um, after a fight, you know it sucks because I need to take a break. But a little bit of a break, you can lose a lot of capacity. Um, and it's it's you know God was very unforgiving in that regard. And I don't, I'm not sure why. But if you don't use it, you lose it. And that's uh, one thing. You know, getting older, I have to to stay in shape cardiovascular wise. Again, it's five five minute rounds, and I need to sprint at 100 percent for for 25 minutes. Yeah, I mean, so so no fighter comes from opportunity or wealth, you know. My, my family is a hardworking family, three generations, both sides, in a copper mine. You know, I worked there for one summer. But growing up wrestling, uh, coming from where, it's such a small place, we all come from somewhere, but you know, I'm inspiring such a, 
a small community and that's ultimately why you know I started to do it because I loved it you know the, the intensity the you know with the competition that was what got me into it that's what made me fall in love and now the ability to inspire people from across the globe is, is why you know I get up and do it every day when I call one two three or four they're under meaning I'm taking one leg under not over under if I call four When you get dead ass tired, you gotta be confident that the preparation was correct. And if you lose, you have to be confident the preparation was correct. If you win, same thing. Preparation is in. Okay, he's gonna be on his back, he's gonna pick up his feet. You know, ultimately, when you're, when you're a child, your parents, you know, to have that at home, to have a stable life, to have someone that will always believe in you, no, never, never leave you. Uh, that's ultimately what pushed me to just embrace the competition side. No matter winning or losing, even more now, losing is just as, you know, it's, you know, inside it hurts more, but my family loves me and I make them proud and I know that I'll never disappoint them when it comes to my um, effort. And ultimately that's, that's all this is for. I never served in the military, but I've had many, my grandpa, both grandpas, uh, many cousins still in. And um, again, to be able to reach across the world, you know, into the veteran community, into the at-risk community. You know, I, I went to school for human services. That was my degree in college, social work. And I wanted to, since day one, I've, I've felt uh, gratitude in helping people. And yeah, the veteran community is something that I've spent a lot of time, a lot of effort, and they deserve every bit of it. All right, guys, that is a wrap. We have officially taken these four active Marines into Justin Gaethje's official workout. Guys, thoughts? What, what do we think about today? How'd it go? Easiest day of my life. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely uh, a little bit of a butt kicker, but learned some new stuff for uh, training our newly minted pulleys that are going to go on to be Marines. So thank you for all those four exercises. Thank you guys for all being a part of it. Justin, any last words before you head out? We, we, we really appreciate no, you man, coming. I just appreciate man. you guys coming. Um, that was just a little taste. Uh, I'm a little sad we didn't get to kick each other. But... <laughs> Next time. Next time. those cap kicks, I'll say the other side. <laughs> all right, you guys saw it. All the action, all the fighting, all the moves right here at Celebrity Sweat.